Jimmy Thang from MaximumPC.com uh, here. We're here uh, speaking with Pete at uh, CES at HP's booth, checking out a couple of different uh, monitors. And Pete, can you kind of walk us through what we're uh, seeing today? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a lot of uh, displays going on here at CES this year. Uh, we start off on our consumer line of uh, displays uh, with the new Pavilion series of displays. And what's new here is we're doing IPS at a consumer price point uh, across the line from our 20-inch models all the way up to our 27-inch models. And can you explain the difference between uh, IPS and L uh, LCD and all that for the consumer that doesn't so might not know? There's uh, three main types of display technologies. There's TN, which stands for Twisted Pneumatic. There's IPS, which is in-plane switching. And then there's uh, another technology called MVA, which is multi-domain vertical alignment. Now, TN is a great uh, technology. It, it gives you a great fast response time and a decent picture. But uh, it's also less expensive than the other technology, at least until now. We finally got some new technology uh, in IPS that comes in at a, a very good price point for us to introduce. And what IPS does is excels at giving you a wide viewing angle. So if you are using your display, you're going to get great color, uh, whether you're looking at it straight on or if you're looking at it slightly off access or off to the side. Or if you have friends or family over and they're looking over your shoulder, they might not have uh, the best view if they're looking at it on a TN panel, but with a IPS panel, they're going to get a great picture. Uh, from, from any way that they look at it. It's also great if you have multiple displays that you're running in your, in your home or in your office even, because from a multiple display standpoint, you typically would have your main primary display directly in front of you, and then your other display slightly off kilter. And in this IPS technology, you've got a great picture from both of those displays. Okay? Uh, so we've got that going on our consumer lineup on the Pavilion XI series. Another advantage to the design of the panel is we get this great edge-to-edge -edge glass type of effect. So there's no plastic bezel going surrounding the LCD picture. You just get the, a clear, clean uh, sight of the picture itself. No, nothing obstructing the view, which is really nice. So you're going to get great color, uh, great brightness, no matter what angle you're looking at it from, and that's the main advantage of IPS technology today. Now I mentioned a third, that's the MBA technology, and I'll show you that in just a bit. That also has wide viewing angle technology, but I'll show you uh, in a moment when we get down to that area where that excels in. So this is a, uh, these are both uh, great examples of our uh, Pavilion XI series. We start from the 20 inch and have five different models ranging from 20, uh, 21.5, 23, 25 inch, and 27 inch models. Uh, on the lineup, and again, all IPS, uh, 19, 9, 1900 by 600 uh, resolution on the 20 inch model, and then full HD on everything above. Um, we also have anti glare on everything from 20 to 23 inch, and then we do a bright view glossy uh, glare panel on 25 and 27 inch models. So, some nice advantages there. Uh, you also have a nice range of connectivity options that uh, have right-angled connectors on them, so it makes it really easy to be able to insert your cable into your display from the back. Uh, the uh, 21.5 and up have everything from VGA, DVI, and HDMI uh, on them as well. So you got a wide range of, of models where we're doing IPS on the consumer lineup. From there, I want to show you where we're stepping up into our world's first Envy class monitor, which features Beats Audio, which is going to be really cool. So this is the MV27, which is a 27-inch full HD monitor, again featuring the IPS technology so you get a great wide viewing angle. But for this NV class of display, we really wanted to raise the expectation around multimedia. So not just having a great picture, but also having great sound as well. So we work really closely with the engineers at Beats Audio to specifically tune these speaker packages around the Beats algorithm so you get a premium studio quality sound along with that. That's been really important. Uh, we also have some nice capacitive touch controls, uh, an aluminum die cast base that is offset. You notice it attaches or mounts to the display head here, and then it's elongated uh, across the horizontal plane of the display. That means that it takes up less of a footprint on your desk, and you can push it further back on your desk. It takes up less depth on your desk, and you can also use this as a convenient kind of keyboard parking when you're not in use, so you save up your desk space there. Did you say it was a touch screen, you said? No, it's not a touchscreen. Okay. Yeah. Um, we offer a wide range of connectivity uh, on the MB27 display. We have VGA display port, which is great for being able to hook up a number of different displays from one graphics card if you wanted to do that. 
uh, as well as HDMI. There's a headphone jack conveniently located on the side here for privacy or for gaming at night if you wanted to, as well as a digital optical output for connecting to a bookshelf system or audio receiver, uh, a subwoofer output, and an audio uh, line in for your VGA port as well. So okay. Connectivity options there. And also, can you walk us through the uh, the pricing and the release date uh, of these monitors? Yeah, so the MV27 is going to be $499. That's going to be available February of uh, this year, 2013. Uh, and then our uh, 20 inch model, I believe, goes around 229 and then up to 339 on the 27 inch. Awesome. Cool. Now we have a, a neat uh, product on the commercial lineup, and this is a 15.6 inch USB powered display. And what's really neat about it is if you're a road warrior and you do a lot of presentations uh, to your clients that you do customer facing uh, engagements with, this gives you an opportunity to place their own display right in front of them as opposed to trying to share your laptop with them and reaching over to access the keyboard to the next slide and so forth. Um, and it's all powered through, through USB. So it takes a simple USB 2 uh, cable, plugs it right in, and you get your picture within about three seconds when you have the, the drivers loaded up on your... your uh, is it USB only? Yes, it is only USB. It's uh, 250 nits, um, but you get pretty good, really good brightness out of this. Uh, as well as being able to, when you get back to your hotel room at night, having an extended display to your notebook so you can get a lot of productivity uh, in as well. Uh, it comes embedded in its own kind of carrying case. It's super lightweight, like about 3.4 pounds. Nice and thin as well. It can be packed into any type of bag or satchel and taken with you on the road. That's going to go for a smart buy price of uh, $139, smart buy price. Again, that's the U160. Uh, then we also have the uh, X2401. This is our 24-inch uh, Full HD display. And this is just the third technology that I talked about a little earlier, the MVA, or the Multi-Domain Vertical Alignment Panel. Where MVA technology excels at, it also has the wide viewing angle, uh, similar to IPS technology. But where it really goes off the charts is in terms of static contrast ratio. So static contrast ratio, not to be confused with dynamic contrast ratio, is really about having the ratio or the difference between the brightest point that a display can reach and the darkest uh, point that a display can reach. And typically, the, the hardest uh, area for a display to be able to hit is being able to hit deep black levels. It's pretty easy for them to get the, the white levels up, but getting deep uh, black levels is, is much more difficult. So when you're able to do deeper black levels, you can make your static contrast ratio really rise up through the roof. Static contrast on this is 5001, so it really makes it ideal for uh, people who are doing photography, as well as people who might do a lot of reading or do a lot of spreadsheet work where they, they are constantly looking at numbers and need something to be able to make it easier to be distinguish um, the text on the display, whether that's a black on white or a white on black type of uh, experience that they're going after. Uh, so the X2401 um, also features the HDMI and DisplayPort connectivity. It's nice and side mounted into the side here. I can't quite get at it right now. Uh, but they use right angle connectors so you have uh, the cables tucked away into the back. So there's a nice cable management story there as well. It's very thin. It has an aluminum back uh, to the design on it. Uh, it comes with an easel stand and there's also a visa mount adapter uh, in the box so if you wanted to put it on a swing arm or a wall mount bracket you can do that as well cool all right that's going for 249. all right well thank you pete uh, i think we've uh, seen a wide array of uh, different monitors here today and uh, yeah so uh, thank you for watching